Just because you have a small space and a tiny budget, it does not mean that you have to settle for a cluttered and overwhelming living room. My name's Shannon, and today on Skip to My Life, I'm gonna show you how we transformed our living room, starting with this faux olive tree. These olive trees are all the rage, and I wanted to duplicate one that I saw on Amazon in the space that we have. We live in an 1100 square foot rental, so I did not have a lot of floor space for a faux tree. Instead of spending over $100 for an olive tree on Amazon, I picked up this beautiful Tuscan textured pot from Walmart, as well as a few olive tree stems. I'm placing this on the mantle that goes right underneath our big screen TV, and as you can see, one of the purposes of this little olive tree is going to be to hide the TV cords. To make this simple project, I just stuck a piece of florist foam in the bottom of that pot and then went to town placing those stems exactly how I wanted them. These olive stems look so high-end and they were under $5 a piece. To finish off this rustic look, I just got some rocks from outside and placed them in the top of that pot to disguise the floral foam. The amber vases are also from Walmart and I will make sure to link to everything below. I created this mantle from three different boxes. I'm going to link to that video, so if you want to try this technique, you can. But as you can see, everything had just gotten tired and cluttered in our small space living room. One of the challenges of downsizing from a six bedroom McMansion to our tiny three bedroom love cottage was finding places of storage for all our belongings. We also had some furniture that we had painted, but it had just gotten worn and dinged and needed to be refreshed. I just had hung two long sheets from the windows and those were serving as my curtains and I was ready to upscale a little bit for a more high-end look. But I have to say the biggest challenge of this space was the visual clutter, especially in these larger bookcases. So today I'm gonna to tell you 10 tips and tricks to make even a small living room look really high end and be a relaxing place for you to spend time. My first step was to clear the clutter off of this mantle and you will see me disassembling those three parts. We are gonna create a really high end looking focal point wall using some peel and stick wallpaper. I'll link to this wood grain peel and stick product below, and I absolutely love it. It sticks to our textured walls without peeling off or falling off, but when I'm ready to remove it, it removes without any gooey residue. Now I decided to create a focal wall behind the TV, and I started by just measuring two long strips of the peel and stick wallpaper. I'll be honest, this is a much easier job with two people, but it can be done by yourself. The trick with any peel and stick product is to remove the backing as you go, smoothing your way to get out any air bubbles. Once you have the paper where you want it, just go back with a very sharp X-Acto knife and cut around your edges. If you're new to my channel, a great big welcome. Comment below and let me know how we found each other. I'm Shannon from Skip to My Life, and several years ago, my husband and I downsized after our children were grown and flown. After I have everything where I want it, I'm gonna go back with a spatula and just make sure I get out any of those remaining air bubbles. Neutral colors like this peel and stick wallpaper that I've chosen add light, and elegance to small spaces. Just because you have a small living room doesn't mean that everything inside it has to be tiny. In fact, the opposite can be true. If you pick one large focal point, like the wall I'm making, and make it the center of the visual appeal, you will find that your room appears much larger than it is. Light colors make spaces seem open and airy, while dark hues used sparingly can ground a space. My original idea was to take this old beach towel off of the ottoman where my dog loves to sit, we actually call it her throne, and replace it with this light color ottoman cover. Now I'm gonna link to this below. I loved it, it was easy to use, durable, and I think it looks really stylish. 
Now, even if Bella tracks dirt in on her cute little paws, all I need to do is take that ottoman cover off, pre-treat it, and throw it in the wash. My original idea was to cover our dark chocolate brown couch with a new slip cover, and I'm gonna show you how that went. I did a lot of research on slip covers, and I was really happy with how easy this particular slip cover was to put in place. While it may work for some interiors, in the end, I felt like it was just too much light in this room, and we needed that balance of darker hues to ground the space. Instead, I chose to remain just with our chocolate brown sofa and replace some of the throw pillows with lighter colors. If you take only one idea away from this video, I believe this will make the biggest difference in your space. I'm gonna show you a trick that's gonna save you lots of money on curtain hardware. All this is is a PVC pipe cut to fit the size of my window and a plastic wiffle ball from Dollar Tree. I simply cut a hole in that ball with an X-Acto knife to fit the end of the PVC pipe and now we are gonna paint both of those dark brown to match the curtain rings that I purchased. Now let's go shopping at Walmart for curtains. Now you certainly have many, many options. And for me, it was between this textured taupe colored curtain and an off-white curtain similar to the color that I was used to. I chose the off-white curtain because I just felt like it presented less of a visual distraction. And please, pretty please, if you buy new curtains, take the time to steam out all those creases. It will make your curtain look so much more high end. I chose to mount that curtain just a couple inches below the ceiling and you can see how much height it adds to the room. If you're lucky enough to have natural light in a small space living room, make the very most of it and showcase it like we did with these curtains. Multi-purpose furniture is an essential if you live in a smaller space, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to purchase smaller furniture pieces. Choose comfy pieces you love with hidden storage potential. This oversized coffee table may seem like a large piece for our small space, but it does its work by storing all of our games and all of our party items. A fresh coat of complimentary paint made all the difference in bringing this little piece back to life. I purchased some inexpensive contact paper with a wood grain finish from Walmart, and I just used it to bring new life to this wicker tray. Not only will this tray protect the finish of the table, but it also serves a purpose of corralling all of the knickknacks and items we normally have in the space. If you are longing for more storage space in your main living area, I am gonna show you some of my very favorite ideas. Look for a beautiful little piece like this one that you can use as a side table or bench, but also store some of your common items like toys or pillows. These open bookshelves are beautiful, but they have become catch-alls for all kinds of clutter like photo albums and extra serving pieces. The perfect storage piece does not have to cost you any money. I found a cardboard box that fit perfectly in the space and covered it again with that wood grain contact paper from Walmart. Now I have a hidden compartment for all the serving pieces that I don't use on a regular basis and that won't fit in our kitchen cabinets. If you're looking for a wonderful, sturdy, and universal size bin, I recommend these $3 bins from the Dollar Plus section at Dollar Tree. They come in several colors, but none matched my interior, so I simply purchased white bins, spray painted them that same chocolate brown, and then took a dry brush technique to distress the outside. Now I have a hidden space to corral all Bella's toys, as well as cookbooks and other items that I don't really want to provide visual clutter. If you're one of those people who loves to be the first in line to get anything new, you're going to want to subscribe to my channel because it lets you know immediately when I release a new video. 
Well, I'm already really happy with the changes we have made to this environment, but we are nowhere near done. Using elements from nature is not only a decor trend, but it's also extremely affordable. I'm using that same contact paper to make book slips for all my photo albums. And yes, that was a picture of me on my wedding day almost 30 years ago. Walmart has some beautiful art pieces and this one I purchased for less than $10. If you watched my last video on our small space garden, you saw how I put together this terrarium and I'm going to be adding it to this bookshelf where it will get just the right amount of light. This episode is actually the second part of a two part series where I totally overhauled my living room. So I will make sure to link to part one below. When you are downsizing from a larger space to a smaller space, clutter can be really difficult to get a handle on. This simple and inexpensive DIY is gonna help with that. These Walmart bowls are under $2 each and they come in many trendy colors. I simply glue gun to smaller bowl to a larger bowl and now we have a beautiful high-end looking clutter catcher. I placed one of these right by the door to hold sunglasses and change and the other on our coffee table to hold the remote and reading glasses. Adding multiple sources of light to a small space brings depth and texture. I purchased this three pack of LED pillar candles from Walmart. Now these come in at under $10, so I felt like they were a great bargain. Each candle uses three AAA batteries and you can set the light on or off as well as on a timer, which is how I set my lights. So now every evening, just as the sun is setting, my beautiful little votive candles come on automatically and add a warm glow to our living area. Make sure you watch all the way to the end because Bella has a lot of shout outs today to your fur babies. Many of you have sent me the names of your pets and she wants to make sure to say hi to a few of them. No matter what size it is, your living space should be an area where you feel comforted and welcomed. And what says that more than pillows and blankets? These beautiful linen textured throw pillows were just the right size for my couch. And I loved the sweater feel of this throw blanket. If you have kids or pets like we do, or you just eat or drink a lot in your living room, you'll wanna make sure to pick up a can of Scotchgard Follow those directions and treat those pillows before you put them into use. My leopard print throw blanket was getting a little bit worn out, so I decided to donate that one to Bella for her throne chair. And instead I'm using this lighter weight sweater feel throw from Walmart. I will tell you that I underestimated the difference that these changes made in the way that I feel about our small living space. If you've downsized from a larger home to a smaller space like we have, it can be easy to start feeling confined or like you've given up an awful lot. Making these simple changes to our main living area has taken that feeling away for me. I no longer think about the space we used to have, but I feel like I am fully embracing where we live now and all the beauty that surrounds us. I always tell you to remember that today is not the end of your story. And that is because I know that often one day can define us. Let's not let that happen. Let's remember we're going to milk all the beauty and all the joy out of every single day. And no matter what happens, we're gonna keep putting one foot in front of the other.